Hello and welcome back to Code Buds with Gale. That's right. That's don't right, it. Tam. Ooh. I don't know. What? Hey, we um are. So yes. we we have become uh kind of the ultimate warrior in many, many ways. Um we are kind of reaching a crossroads here because we're about to we, we we could go to Tomb of the Eaters right now. Uh we could go back to the historic site that you were nibbling away at and uh which was giving us amazing goodies um we could do something else completely neither of those things how are you feeling what are you thinking uh what i mean i'm rock and roll ready i think i don't I'm... we have an absurd build right now also we have 300 oh yeah look at that mm. um what's our build again cudgels do we have all of our cudgels i believe so i okay. doubt it cast doubt we don't have demolished because we'll never be strong enough. Never say never, but yeah. Okay. You said never so many times about intelligence and strength is not that much more ahead than. Yeah, well, exactly. I was wrong about intelligence. I we can you can be wrong about strength. I'm cool with that. Not wrong. You 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 can be wrong. You I'm be. pressing the buttons. I don't I don't have to be wrong. I could be correct. And there's nothing am, you can do about it. I am merely entropy piloting a flesh mech. Exactly. I can't be wrong. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. I don't think that there's much that we would really want to buy. Maybe tinker. Did we buy tinkering tier three yet? We can't. We're not smart enough. Oh, I thought we were. The previous conversation. Oh, I guess I was thinking about Narf's game. My bad. Okay. I quit. Oh. Oh. Talking about Narf. Narf. All right. Let's um. Let's go do the Tomb of the Eaters. We're, we're more than ready, I think. Or we could, I don't know, we okay. could, like, that historic site was very appealing. But we, I just don't see us getting anything else from it, except for maybe reputation. Um, so here's and a- more money. And more money. So, um, in order to, to deviate, uh, for both the Narf and the Galen game to, to deviate completely from one another, uh, we should, we should do Tomb of the Eaters properly. Um, you want to have a look at your quests for a moment? Yeah, what if I get swift blocking quick while I'm here? That works. Are we still using shields? We could do both those. I believe so. All right, let's do it. Well. It's not at all bad. So I can plant down and deal strength bond over deep plants. Blah, 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 blah. Your opponent gets a chance to resist. Sure, whenever you charge your opponent. With I charge people sometimes. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just, that's not the right button. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we're a shield boy. We are a shield boy. We have a very good shield. Okay, so. Uh, should we do have a shield equipped still? We undoubtedly Aegis. do. Yes, we do. All those crystal Aegis. Um, right. Yeah, so let's have a look at our quest. Visit the Mimer Mimer Granary. Mimer? Visit the Flora of Shishan. Visit the Lycus of Shudip. Recover Tynwar and solace the Bane of Cats. Oh, yeah. Julika. Recover Julika. Raising Indrix. Oh, yeah. We never did Indrix's. I don't even remember who Indrix is. He is the warden at uh, Kya Kya Kya. Mm. We were going to maybe become friends with Mamon Soul Drinker. So, here we are. Tomb of the Eaters. Recover the Mark of Death. Inscribe the mark on your body and then enter the tomb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. So uh, I, I don't necessarily want to take this away from you. Uh, the, I guess the, um, the solving this first part, uh, but why don't we go to the soul, uh, the tomb here? Do you, do you know where that is? No, it's at the base of the spindle, which is in Ezra. Mm, that's well, we, we can recoil there. Up there. Yeah. All right. Right there. Bum, 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 bum. Sure you don't want to just make a run for it? You can if you want. <laughs> you can um, pretty show me. Sure show. That sure show me. That's pretty funny, but I'll I'll just do the thing. Yeah. Okay. She's low. Doop doop doop. You could, too low. you could just wait a little little bit of time and then it would charge up. Or you could just charge it if you want. 
You could literally like walk a couple of steps on the overworld map and it would probably be charged enough. What's this place? Uh, that's the deep jungle. Oh, I see. Is that not the historic site that we were checking out? Pretty sure it is. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I think it is. Alabamrod. Alabama. Alabamrod. That, that is the historic site that you were getting all those nice, good. Um, she's full. You're right. Doop, 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 doop. I am transported. Transported to Ezra. All right. Okay. So we want to go to, uh, we want to go east to the, the eastern tile. Um, we're not going to be able to get in, but I want you to see why and maybe understand why. Because um, I don't have their cool tattoo. Well, that's exactly it. So actually, you already know. Um, so... In, in, in the interest of uh, not just like giving you the answer, what do we, doing. what do we really know? Oh yeah, they, well that's uh, the Barathermites are, um, are examining the spindle in order to understand its magnetic field. What do you got? Oh. Well, I got something. Sound in it. Sound in it. In it? In it. Uh, okay. I don't want any of that. What do you got? What's your deal? Not much going on there. Not much. Just the bare minimum. The bare necessities. A chrome revolver. Yuck. All right. Uh, up? East more? Where am I going? You're going uh, northwest. But you, we, west. you know, oh, you can try. I've never figured out how to get in that door. And I actually don't even know if there's anything in there yet. That door? Yeah, we want to go through the western door. There's two doors here. That's the eastern door, and I'm not sure what what it means, what it does. It's blocked by the life gate. Mm. I'm alive. Let me in. <sighs> right, well. And then there's tried the, everything. There's the western gate. I could blow it up. Mm, you could. I don't know if I agree. I could, I could jackhammer it. You could, you could, we could begin, we could end the series the way it began, and we could jackhammer our way into the theaters. Wouldn't that be, just, just be the way. Um, but right. that's not the door we're trying to get into. We're trying to get into the spooky one? Yeah, the spooky, see what happens, uh, maybe when we try and enter that. They're sealed for eternity. Well, yeah. That's an awful long time. Truly it is. Well, we gave it our best shot. We did. The, the quest is over, really. Um, we could have a look at our quest again and, uh, examine it. Listen, man, I just need to find the tattoo. We gotta find their dead. Is there a graveyard? There is a graveyard. Uh, in the immortal words of... So, yeah, maybe the that's... Band. Just, uh, that, Take that me to bottom... the graveyard. Yeah. Um, the, that bottom line on the quest information is maybe very relevant to you. Uh, I guess One it where I go to Great Gate? Uh, no. Third from the bottom, I suppose. It was the bottom when you had it highlighted. Disable the spindle's magnetic field. Ah, uh, that's Ascend the tomb and cross into Bright Shoal. Uh, Reshef's burial chamber. Remember, remember, oh, remember no. Reshef? No. Very relevant character. Possibly the most relevant character, but anyway, um, the the hint is that um, it has to do with Reshef. Why don't we have a look at our gathered Reshef lore? He is Sultan. He is a Sultan. Uh, just drove it off a cliff. Good for him. Is it in chronological order? It is. At twilight, in the shadow of the spindle, the people of Amnon Pork saw an image on the horizon that looked like a ghost bathed in cerulean. It was for Chef, and after he came and left Amnon Pork, the field built a monument to him. It's what called a ghost in cerulean. Uh... I mean, all, honestly, all things considered, we don't have a lot of Rush Chef 
lore. Um. Okay, well, it's there's more, there's an important an, an one there. Antidote heavy. There's an important one there, though. Ah, how we taught water vine blowing. I mean, that Very is a good important. one. Uh, right above that is important. In two AR, Rebecca died of glot rot. Shame. And on her deathbed, Reshef forgave her and absolved her of sin. He allowed her to be buried in the village of Ezra outside the gate to the tomb of the eaters and beneath the shadow of the spindle. We go dig up Rebecca. Um, it's not nearly that grim, but there's a graveyard. That's the important thing. Let's go to Ezra. Back to Ezra. Are we in Ezra? Uh, we are at the base. Not of the in spindle. Ezra proper. We're not in Ezra proper. That's correct. It's like we're in New York, but we're not in New York. That's right. You know? Ran into a wall. Classic. Classic. Have we done an auto explore here? Maybe. Yes. You sure? No, it, it doesn't just... seem to be anything there. Oh, that's weird. It's weird that it doesn't do it automatically. Okay, let's go to the west side. I'm just gonna go ahead and and uh, west side. West side. I, I'm I'm just gonna give you give it to you because like I didn't I couldn't figure this is out. This a, is this a graveyard? That is the graveyard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a dude that watches over it. Um, I mean, Ela is part of the uh, Daughters of Exile, and they're kind of like all, uh, you know, based around Rebecca. Um, there's interesting lore about Rebecca uh, that I don't know fully. You can talk to this guy if you want. Uh, what are you doing here? It's a physician and an advisor to Russia until she lost his favor. When, after years of exile, she lost her voice and her life. She was buried here, an outsider unfit to be interred with the honored dead, so she rests here. I believe her proximity will help me find my credo. Um, yo. Yeah. Only those who pay their respects to the grave will know the way into the tomb. If you make it inside, the Mopango will offer you solace and knowledge and can tell you more about the tomb's contents. The Mopango a big mushroom? No. Wish that and were true. We did digging creatures whose armor scales glow pale white. They are contemplative, sociable, and mostly peaceful. They commune with ancient objects, which is why a cottery of their kind lives in the tomb of the Eaters. They are patient, even with rough-hewn wanderers such as we, but it is still not best to ask one to explain. Eh, credo. I'd like to meet a Mopango. Go to the tomb. Oh, it's nestled in the Maw of Northwest Catacombs, but the entrance is guarded by a chain turret named Vivra. Brightly painted to distinguish air um, from air, brethren. Resist your reflexive urge to fight or flee, as Vivira is friendly and open to parley. If you meet, tell him I sent you. All right. Nice. Um, but I'm still looking for Rebecca. Yep, but they they are in that graveyard. Oops. Ayun. There you go. We've done it. Attack! <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I want to see if they're true to the word, and we'll we'll guard it. It's an interesting. Uh take honestly so yeah that mark at the bottom there was the mark of the death or mark of death yes so we're good i gotta tattoo it on myself you though. do have to tattoo it on yourself i'll be impressed if you remember exactly what it is because i always oh i have to mark it down specifically yes cancel oh my gosh all right i guess it's in my journal yep you can always look at the statue uh, again probably the easiest way but this is galen's playthrough nice I forgot about that. It's gonna be in gossip and lore, probably. Yeah, I found it. Asterix, dollar sign, left, left, dollar sign, asterix. Right. Obelix and asterix. Obelix. Hey, asterix. Bum, 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 bum. Tattoo gun. Tattoo. Okay, so. Do I just type this in now? Uh, you have to select on yourself first. So hit the wait oh. command. Oh. Does it matter? Uh, it does not matter. So pick a place. The one thing I will say is the color kind of matters because it is going to permanently change. I think feet is funniest. Okay. <laughs> Do we have any problems with this? Like, or? uh, like Woody. You're gonna, you're gonna have Andy on your feet. Yeah. Who do you belong to? The mark of the death. Okay. That works. Asterix. Money sign. Boop. Nope. Boop. Money sign. Uh, was the period at the end? No, that was, so it's just that, right? Yep. And you say it matters because that's what I'll look like, but it doesn't. 
doesn't it mechanically, mechanically it doesn't change anything it's just going to affect what you look like yeah well i'm a batman so everything has to be black or shades of dark gray all right do you want to be like black and gray that's their dark gray i guess no. batman's also dark blue let's go dark blue all right that works it works really well actually oh, they look the same oh uh, yeah it's because you have the um night vision on if you turn night vision off you'll see what you look like i don't know it's this button I'm just pressing alt and it does this. Yeah, that's not that that just that blue is always like that. What is the point of this? Um that shows you like at a glance who's aggressive to you and like who's not. It shows you like points of interest. Oh. Interesting things or pertinent things. That's interesting and pertinent. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Go get out of my way. Yep. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, I like how both your and Narf's game kind of like swapped endings. Narf Narf dug into the tomb. It's interesting what happens. But anyway, I like I was was going to jackhammer into it. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Instead of cultural appropriation. <laughs> is that what this is? I took someone's symbology and I marked myself with it. That's that's the same as getting a tribal tattoo or something. That. But that means something to someone, but nothing really to me other than, well, yeah, man, it's really cool. But from an in-universe perspective, the reason you did it was to pay homage to Rebecca, not to uh, appropriate her mark. It's not to pay homage to Rebecca, it's to get in the gate. Well, I mean, mechanically, yes, that is why we're doing it. But uh, we get into the gate by paying homage to Rebecca. Um, so welcome to the best music in the game, IMO. I like the little R2-D2. Well, be boops. I think we do actually have to go down there. Should I be exploring? Is this? Is you can this... explore. Oh, we're not. We're not in the tomb proper yet. Just so you know. I love that. But we went in the spooky door. I love how spooky that part is. It really sets the mood of like, this is it, bud. You're in it now. You're in it up to your waist. Am I jumping in this hole? You are jumping into that hole. All right. Night. Welcome to the next two hours. Did you want to jump down? into it? <laughs> I don't know if you can jump into it. Can you fly down? I mean, you can fly, and then when you go over it, you will just be flying over it. You, di you did it. Love that. <laughs> I jetpacked down. Oh, you're greeted with an almost... No um, what is that? I forget what the... Neapolitan ice cream wall. Mmm. Oh, is any of this graffiti important? Uh, no, it's just graffiti. So now we are technically... If the earth beneath is inexorable advance, why is an orifice studded with crooked teeth eternally questing for an artifact? Oh, <laughs> this is good stuff. This is great. Yeah, good stuff. love this. Upon the festival's conclusion, the crowd most... Hated murmurs would be smashed to bits. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Beep, boop, 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 beep, boop. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> oh, I hope there are two electric current. I hope them are. <laughs> I hope they are two electric current boogaloo. It wasn't until Abram two life has prodigious fathers. Nice. Prodigious, prodigious fathers. Prodigious fathers. Now, what ham I make in sales? Now, what can I make in sales? It I really ought feels not to give like someone's trying to sell molten. me something. Row K rock, broke. That spun about Pato star. Oh, Pato. 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 Pato is a uh... on the trauma of a basilisk. I like how uh, um, I like how we're we're doing this. Though no fixed conclusions are yet incapable of speech. We're the, the, out of here, doing web. the equivalent of reading books right before we get into the tomb. Yeah. The test of the cord part of the bone worm. One more, and then I'll stop. <laughs> I think the there we go, perfect. Just admiring the graffiti before we enter proper. All right, an ooze. Indeed, a news. Check out them bone Let's walls. Let's try this, baby. Oh, 
there's apparently a pretty massive delay on my end. I'll have to sync the audio better. Um, do you want to pause for a second and see if I can get rid of the delay a little bit? No, nah, it's just easier for me to fix it in post. Okay. It's only like a couple. Mmm. I don't. Uh, you need, hmm, what it, oh, it needs a second. Uh, the spacer rifle can only fire like every other turn. Oh, wow. That's a lot of spice. Yeah. Here's a question. What's yeah. equipped? Um, you've got a Geomagnetic spacer disc. rifle. Geomagnetic disc is quite nice. But I think I'd rather throw something that explodes. Sure. You can do that. You can also, you've got, um, stunning force now because of your cathedra. What does that do for me? Stuns them in a big old radius. Oh, interesting. I didn't mean to click it, but here we are. Oh, apparently it's in a radius around you. I thought it was going to be in a clickable radius. You could always go by the mainstay hologram bra bracelet while you deal with other forces at work. While you deal with gelatinous copala. They're stunned. They have engulfed you. They are wounded. They're dead. This, this is totally fine. They're dead already. What's that guy? That is, uh, well, you've met something like that. There, there was the warden, I think, in Ezra. Yeah. But now they are, well, apparently they're neutral to you because uh, yeah, you bear fine. the mark of. All right. So one of these guys zooted away. They did zoot. What's Indeed, they thing? zooted. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um, the high dervish of the sightless way and death pilgrim of the cult of Darshad to the southwest disappears. Indeed they did. They teleported away, apparently. These guys are um, servants of Toe, and they are mental mutants. Oh no, the compacted bone. No. Oh, hello. Oof. We could try confusing them. Nice. You charged and then like slammed them. Apparently we got coated in plasma. Not sure why. That's the one problem with having uh, plasma as, as a, a means. Because we get coated in plasma I quite often. I think I like this spacer rifle. Okay. We had another option. That we... Yeah. Yeah, Let's yeah, yeah. Have yeah, a look yeah, at yeah. it. Uh, it. It was the light rail? I think so. Um, we may as well make it the sturdy handrail. And we'll have to put a nuclear cell in it. No, but the sturdy handrail is a handgun, right? Oh, you're right. You Sorry, it is the light rail. Light My rail. bad. You are correct. Uh,. To put a nuclear one in and just recharge it? Sure. Let's do it. Great. We can only do that one more time, and then we will out be out of A bits. <clears throat> we do want to mod that thing, maybe when we're uh, out of this combat. Mm. What's going on? I'm. 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 You're used to reloading. You don't have to reload the. Uh... Oh, I see. You, you didn't. You didn't. Um... I didn't equip it. You didn't equip it. I tried to, I thought. There you go. It's pretty good. 24 damage. You do not... You shouldn't need to reload it. Basically, ever. Why does... Oh, I, can, I just can if I want to. Yeah. All right, I got one. Pew, pew, pew. And uh, you have double the movement speed of normal, like, creatures. So, yeah, you can just, like, walk away from people and shoot them. Or you can move towards them and, you know, smack them at almost, you know, free movement. The thing that sucks about these guys is that they um, hit your mental armor as opposed to your AV, so they probably always hurt you. And they also um, break your mental armor, apparently. So that'll mean that they pen even harder and do even more damage. Nice. They're dead. Chumps, all of them. That guy's dead too. Um, uh, 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 apparently you're enemies to your own hologram, which is pretty funny. All right, let's do like a rest and I... Why am I, I X'd? Uh, it's because you're psionically cleaved. Mmm, I can't rest. No, yeah, and that uh, that guy over there is about to piss off a deep slumberling, which is not really something you want to do. The robot to your left, I mean. Um, could like oh. back up. We want to rest and we also want to mod. Oh yeah, you've discovered... Wait a second. You've discovered a thing about the Tomb of the Eaters. Tell me. Do you see the, uh... Oh, the, the right Mapangos. Side? Those are the Mapangos, yeah. Tomb dwellers. The bell of rest tolls the dead, so the dead will come back. But why am I down here now? So, you are marked with the mark of death, which means you are mm -hmm. fully affected by the tomb. Um, and 
whenever the bell tolls, you are returned to tomb tether, tomb tethered ground, basically. So you see those diamonds on the ground? That's yes. That's safe ground. Uh, if you are standing on that when the bell rings, you will not be teleported. Hmm. Hello. But you it also does have just bullets. We we are now kind of semi lost. The tomb of the eaters, by the way, is large. It is uh, spans a full parasang large, meaning it's three by three uh, each floor tiles. So you can get very lost here. Um, apparently, there's no way out I'm of here. Hungry. Uh... We probably want to cook something good. Oh yeah, from a recipe then. Yeah, something that gives us uh, maybe some strength. Maybe some AV as well. Do we have a strength in AV? Did we ever get something like that? No, we never achieved that specific combination. Dang. Ding, dang. Uh, all right, well, let's do plus four strength whenever you suffer times two greater penetration. You shank your opponent. Shank. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Um, I'd like somewhere to go, ideally. We'll actually have to dig our way out of here. Apparently, there's no escaping this. Which is unusual. I've never actually seen that. Yeah, I mean, the bone, uh, the compacted bone is pretty easy to break through. I saw some effect particles up there, so I'm going to go that way. That makes sense. I mean, it would make more sense to start from the top, but here we are. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, 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 I'm in dig. a force field. Oh, you are force fielded. That is a snail mother. Husband of Turkapal society. You're going to have to wait till that force field disappears. Well, goat man. <laughs> What's your deal? That might be... They may be what's uh, putting the force field on you. A slimy goat folk, Klipoth and Death Pilgrim of the Husband of Dirkable Society. Oh. Now he's a slimy mechanist, preacher, and Death Pilgrim of the Husband of Dirkable Society. <laughs> they swapped places. That guy is also hostile to you. Oh, and now I'm confused. It's a shame you can't move right now. You're very... Well, I mean, I can just... Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. <laughs> You're very likely going to be uh, told. Bell told. Oh, that's better. There there we go. Ugh. Well, at least you know where the enemies are. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is a not great impression of this place right away. Smack, smack, smack. That's how we kill snail mothers. Those little I ones guess I can killed those other you. guys. They might have just wandered away, I guess. Uh, slimy crystal dagger. Sure. Slimy slate mantle. Mm. The snail mother corpse. Get. All right. Is there anything cool over here? A shrine to antidote to the snowflake shouter. <laughs> Garbage. Garbage. Wow, Bones. there's there's just like, this is really bad. Actually, I don't know why. There's no access points to anything right now. Well, the good news is that we're going to get teleported in 40 rounds. Back to where I started or somewhere new? Oh, po somewhere new. Somewhere new. Next to a bone worm. Oh, that's good. We kill those. It burrowed into the ground. <laughs> it's gone. More gelatinous cupolas. It does some pretty good damage, I must say. Oh, yeah, we were going to modify our uh, light rail. Hmm. Uh, bone, bone worm. That's possibly why that other place was so bad is because the bone worms closed up some certain entrances. Scope it? Can master work it? Yeah, both of those. Hmm, something's hostile. Uh, probably the bone worm. Oh yeah, there was a bone worm right bone north worm. of you. There was a, a red dot. It's probably still not going to let you do it. You're not wrong. Yeah, are going to have to kill that bone worm. Dead. It did it. There it was. All right. All right. Uh, they give you, bum, bum, um, bum, 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 bum. they give you compacted bone, which you get bone meal from. Yay. And scope that shit. She's scoped. She's masterworked. Fantastic. Love that. All right. We are roaming around. We haven't really even found the Mopango. We found a Mopango, but like those are grave robbers. They'll, they'll have stuff, but I don't know if they have anything we want. I, I note the location of the shush cranial in, in the location of the room section of my journal. It's <laughs> nice. I don't know where you got that information. Garbage. I think I picked up trash on a, on a diagonal. 
I suppose if we really don't like our location, we can always wait 120 rounds. Oh, hello, friend. Oh, they're not a friend. That's not a friend at all. Oh, I shanked him. You're not a friend of mine. Oh, yeah, because they, they penned you. So your recipe popped off. Psionic Flawless Chrysal Halberd. Yeah, they're worth money, but only if you get them to a vendor before they disappear. Mmm, <laughs> this one's lambent. Pretty sure that means it's like fading, but not not yet disappeared. I mean, I could go trade it to that trash man. Uh, I don't think it's worth your time, to be honest. We're, we're Ooh, a big room. Super, like, beyond the need to do that. And we're tomb tethered, so we could wait a hundred rounds. Oh, there's your staircase upward, so we could go straight upward. There's a there is a side quest we could perform on this floor, but it really is up to you, and like, if you want to do it, it is kind of cool. Um, I mean, it's a, really cool, but oh yeah, there's a dude right next to you. Is there, or is he dead? Uh, a psionic rhinox skull, Maul, tenuous. Uh, it's tenuous. It's tenuous. Does it exist? Who could say? Maybe. A side quest in this room, you say, in this very room. I say on this floor, meaning the three by three pair, uh, pair saying. I'm gonna go through all this trash. Oh, trying to Orotafa, the potent babe of Beatles. At the Battle of Kuena, Orotafa fought to subjugate antelopes. He wielded a commanding sword with such artfulness that it became forever known as Commander Gnika Antelope's Flight. And we have a plasma jelly. They can definitely do some damage. Oh, you wanna? You don't wanna be standing in that. I'm pretty sure that grave robber just died. The light He's rail. So fast now. The light rail is doing really good work for you. And yeah, you are super. Oh my god, you just like walked away from that plasma and oh, shot him. Darn it. Shot him dead. Oops. Well, at least there's another bone worm. They're still to your northwest. I've I've come to realize that just because they're burrowed does not mean they're not still there. If you destroy that wall, you'll... Oh, no, there they are. We like bone matter. Bone matter, good. It's a, a shame we got swapped out. Yeah, so like I say, there there is a quest to pr perform on this, um, on this, like, floor, this level. Um, something you can do, can do before we take off is we could wait 60 rounds for the bell to toll, and then... Oh, I guess you're doing that. You can do Shift W to get easier on yourself, rather than tapping the button. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 times. All right. You were not recalled. We're good. Okay. Well, I've been down before. Yeah, I think this is where we entered. Maybe? Maybe not? Not sure. Light Rail is doing some really good... Definitely an upgrade from the uh, sniper rifle. Especially since you can shoot every round. Nope. All right. Is that a dead end? Let's go down. Yeah. Shoot. Hello. What's that thing? Oh, a stairwell um, teleporter. Yeah. Do I not like that? Um, up to you. I think that it would be okay if you don't like this location. Yeah, I've been here. Yeah, we have been here. And that deep slumberling continues to slumber. <laughs> psionic weird artifact. It's a flaming psionic flawless Christy longsword. Substantial. 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 Mm -hmm. We, uh, we, we kill in, uh, deep slumbers. You know what? Oh, well, the party's already started, so might as well. Ooh. Good hits, good hits. They charged you. It is time to retaliate in kind. Oops. Slam them. And then charge them. Oh, yeah, don't forget your stunning force. It's it's at, a, like, a level 8 or something, so it's it's actually very good. Blam. They're dead. badly wounded. They are dead. 106, or just, we're hanging out. It's a good idea. Ah, uh, stupid Coppola ruined it. What is a Coppola? A couple is, um, nope. The couple uh, of friends. Couple of friends. Uh, the gelatinous tend to take some geometric shape and cud. All right, we can we can move on. Moving on. Moving on to brighter pastures. Hello. Boring. <laughs> Beep boop. More capullas. More snail mothers. Snail mothers are such a pain in the butt. Not a fan. Yeah, you got poisoned. You can, I think, get poisoned multiple times from different sources, and it, it adds up after a while. Also, being ill is uh, not a great thing either, because you can't heal yourself. Um, 
Is it worth doing that puke meal? Uh, I don't think you can. Uh, no, we, we're we're not ill forever. It's not like we're not ill for a long time. It'll wear off after a while. I'm just letting you know. We are hungry though, so we might want to eat a new meal. That is a good idea. It'd be good if we were inspired. Oh, some crushed grave moss. Yep. What are we what are we feeling? What are we Um if we were inspired I'd recommend trying again on that special meal, but it's really not working out. Um we could try cooking up a meal anyway, something interesting. Alright. Just throw some bone meal and hulk honey in there, I think. It's probably what we want. Yep. It's usually what I Bone go for. Meal. All cunny. Acid. <laughs> sure. Probably give us acid resistance. Whenever I take damage, there's a 14% chance I'll gain plus 6 AV for 15 seconds. That's actually really good. It's not. It doesn't give us the uh, Hulk honey strength that we wanted, but it's not bad at all. So you're wandering about. I don't know. You can do, you can do auto explore, honestly. Well, you probably want to rest. 60 turns to go. What is that? Oh, a rocket turret, turret tinker. tinker. We kill those. We kill those Done. as quickly as possible. <laughs> Amazing. Oop. That's a little bit concerning, I won't lie. Yeah, and that's why. Rocket turrets suck. Although we do have a point defense drone. That's one of the reasons point defense drone is so good. Of course, it is not is really it? holding up its end of the bargain here. I don't think we want to mess with this. It's one of the few things that can probably kill us. I honestly wasn't trying to. I was trying to run away. Okay. Till I was here. Oh, we have a, a gorged thingy. Gorged growth. They're not too... Da 53 damage on the one turn. There you go. Let's rest up. Well, there's lots of explosions happening. Hopefully that means those things are dead now. Cool. We don't even have to wait. We already... Uh, the bell tolled very recently. One's dead. The other one is not. Ah. Okay. Well, your uh, point defense drone is helping. Damaged. There we go. Got nice. him. Got him. Excellent. Oh, I'm sliding. I'm like, why am I walking so weird? <laughs> I'm Sli he's slipping around on the slime. Oh, yeah. Rocket turret be damned. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh no. Oh, you got zooted? Not yet. Oh, I almost made it. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hey, this seems like it could be where the Mopangos are, though. What up, my dude? We're looking for specific uh, Mopangos. These are just kind of like tomb dwellers. And that wilt. All right, you guys are just big bullet boys, huh? They love it. They love bullets. Pickles. Heck yeah. And Sphinx Salt Injector. Ooh, Cloning Drought. We love Cloning Drought. Or Draft. Drought. 1,494? Yeah. Worth it, though. Did we, um, we have Flawless Crystal Gauntlets. Were we wearing those? Were we gonna wear those? We can sell our uh, reinforced woolly <laughs> mechanical wings. And we can sell our crystal hand bones. Those are probably weighing us down quite a lot. Um, yeah, get rid of them. I've got a jetpack now. Sorry, get rid of what now? Crystal hand bones implant. Hmm. He'll also sell you a pickaxe. I guess that makes sense. You do, uh, they, they recommend you have a pickaxe in this area, but I find it to be more of a pain in the butt than anything. I feel like we had a bunch of weird guns we could sell. Yeah, we definitely. And some Christsteel Dagas. Yeah, we could sell, just sell the Rhinox Skull Mall, actually. It's probably, it, pro it weighs the most out of all of those things. All right. Uh, and you want to get, well, think salt. Are pickles actually good? It's only $2. There's, they give salt-based effects to your recipes. Mm. Or sorry, thirst based. Sure, buy, buy. Let's buy some pickles. They're mostly just worth it because the tile is so good. I love the little jar of pickles tile. All right, trade complete. Thanks, Mr. Grave Robber. Well, how do I get at it? With punching. We punch, and then I started punching. You can go diagonally through that wall. You don't have to punch. Another beetle. Do we even look at the first beetle? Uh, we didn't get a chance. All right. I mean, look at it as in, like, talk to it. 25% chance to... That was... Mafango Charioteer. Yeah. That's a good sign. Should I talk to this Beetle? Yeah, talk to the Beetle. See what they want. Petty Mortal, place six bananas before me and I shall reward you with a mighty weapon. Wow, bananas? That's such an easy one. But we don't have six bananas, do we? He's in the jerk. Mm. 
can they be in no rushed with form no they they're usually pretty specific if they say bananas they probably mean bananas we have nine servings of sun-dried banana you could try so dropping no. it but just I'd dropping it in front of him drop six banana sun-dried bananas in front of him yeah i really don't think it'll work but you never know you want to make sure it's like right in front i can pick him up again if i yeah okay. you can pick them up if they if they if they don't like it then you can pick them back up again mm. i see i see i see drop bananas do you want a banana he doesn't seem to care you gotta talk to him now he said the same thing yeah so that they, they don't count a mighty weapon i don't think that there's many weapons he could offer that would actually be better than what we've got but you never know sometimes sometimes that is not the case so we've got beth Oops. on this floor unfortunately Okay, so that's just a normal Mopango. I was hoping that we were close to the actual Mopango uh, settlement. Are you shooting Beth? I don't blame you. I don't think you can shoot it, though. I, I, I commend you for trying, but I don't think you can. Holographic Beth. Yeah. And then we have the real kind to our southeast. Okay. More. More Beth. Ouch. These, well, Beth these... is the one you should just wait, right? Yeah, wait if you want to be able to see all of it. But I'm pretty sure that's all of it now. We got 200 rounds. I realize my wound is an illusion. <laughs> and the pain suddenly stops. I've never seen that before, actually. That's really funny. Well, I was hoping uh, we could find the staircase and then end the episode there, but it is eluding us. That or um, stuff. So do you want to uh, end the episode here? Yeah, I guess so. All right. If you're